this is that on a scale of 1,000. You've trapped yeah. people for a year, ruined their lives in certain instances, and then just said, all right, go back to your business. Go back to the way things were. Back to You're going to have nothing but violent, cr violent clashes, outbursts, and people behaving poorly <laughs> because they've been treated like children for a year, and now they're going to act like children on the streets. So uh, on Sunday, Team USA beat uh, Team Mexico in the Nation League's uh, championship final. Those final-up. white supremacists yeah. beating those beating Mexicans. Mexicans. Uh, oh, yep. my gracious. Uh, there was some controversy because of some uh, calls a ref made towards the end, but, I mean, largely, you know, it was a game that Mexico lost. Uh, it became a much bigger deal because of just the... Uh, vulgarity um the uh the throwing of objects at team usa um they so there, that's a note for me not oh. for you you don't have to talk about a boat, a boat analogy, analogy right now <laughs> right i was making that note for me um, but yeah so you know and there was a point where they were chanting you know slurs in uh, and how in does this relate to boats um, yeah I, I, I'm actually really excited to see how you make that connection <laughs> later on. Um, so, you know, just kind of an overall ugly situation overall. Um, but the reason that story made me think was, and, you know, this, you know, this was presented as a sports story, but, um, you know, we're, it's going to expand to cover the, the human condition. Oh, boy. Um, but a soupçon of the human condition. condition. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I've been noticing a... Fairly, it's becoming more and more prevalent, um, this issue in sports. Uh, and, you know, you can extrapolate this to real life of people who feel emboldened to say things that they never would if it weren't behind a keyboard, yeah. if they weren't yeah. a fan in an event. And this yeah. seems to be getting worse, like by the second, getting worse. Um, so I guess my first question, just I do want to address the sports part real quick, but like, do you guys think as paying fans, like, uh, so one of the things that happened, um, aside from the derogatory slur chant, uh, a fan chucked a, well, looked like a pretty full water bottle at a player, um, clipped them in the side of the face. Obviously, I think the player's fine, but, you know, that's not going to feel good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, what do you guys think? Like, as a, if you are a paying fan, it doesn't have to be sports. It can be any event, honestly. But as a paying fan, you know, what, what where is this coming from to feel so emboldened where, I would never throw a water ball at a human being. Like, that's just, that's mm. treating someone as subhuman. Like, how does paying, you know, whatever amount of money that you needed to buy a ticket, like, how does that justify it? Like, what, what do you guys think? Like, wh where is this mindset coming from in today's society? As, you know, if you guys oh, don't boy. think it's a problem that's getting worse, please tell me. I think it is. But, like, where do you think, why do you think it's getting worse today? Wow. Uh, the, my go to, and I don't know if this is contrived or not, it has to be just the, the last year. Like I, I have, mm. I have to have this feeling that when we talk about prisoners, and part of this is because of prison culture. So I'm not saying your home is like a prison, or yeah, yeah. you know, it's the qualities of a prison. But when you cage an animal, or when you put people in prison and then they come out, they don't behave the way that you would behave in the generalized society because mm. you have been so like socialized in you know a way worse condition and a way more private condition. You put people away for a year in their homes. You don't let them interact with one another. You mm. frustrate the hell out of them. You fire them from their jobs. You ruin the global economy for a year. And, you know, the crime, violent crime is on the rise in the United States. It, and it's, we see this, as, you know, I, one of my degrees is in criminology. This is something where in the summer you see that crime rises. The joke is always, oh, well, there's a correlation between ice cream sales and crime rising in the summer, but ice cream doesn't make you more violent. The, the summer, more people interacting, being out together after being trapped all winter makes you more violent, more antagonistic, and it makes people butt heads more. This is that on a scale of 1,000. You've trapped yeah. people for a year, ruined their lives in certain instances, and then just said, all right, go back to your business. Go back to the way things were. Back to You're going to have nothing but violent, cr violent clashes, outbursts, and people behaving poorly <laughs> because they've been treated like children for a year, and now they're going to act like children on the streets.